All right, welcome back to the program. Now, it's interesting, Hardy, as we travel around the country looking at boats, given our uh, project that we've got on the go. Yeah, it is, Nick. This is the boat we fished out of today. It's a formula hull, but it's been modified. It's had a pod put on the yep. back. And it's got two thumping big 225 horsepower Yamahas on it. That's over half a ton yes. of engines sitting out on the end of this pod. 550 kilos. I was interested to see how it went, yes. and it went spectacularly well. Everyone says to us with the Unleash the Beast project, where we're putting a 350 on the back of a 23-foot Bertram, it's going to be too heavy. I think it's time to unleash the beast. Yamaha Project 350. Unleash the Beast. Now, for those of you who haven't been paying attention, Beast is a 23-foot Bertram flybridge that we are resurrecting from the dead. We've thrown away the stern drive, stripped the boat, and the crew from Penguin Composites is making her new again. Andrew Hart takes up the story. Righto, David. Now, the outside of the Beast is what we looked at last time, and it's come up... I mean, honestly, it looks like a new boat. Yeah, it's, it's been a great effort by the guys. Uh, good job. Inside, though, is where we're going to spend all our time. Now, let's take a tour of what you've done. Let's start down the back here. Down the back here, we've got um, we've put new fresh bulkheads in the back. We've given you a nice drop-down easy cupboards to access anything in there, keep it tidy and clean. Yep. Your batteries and your bilge pumps and all, they're accessible in the back there as well. Now, when we dropped it off to you, she had a thumping great big engine box just here that you couldn't sort of get around, but uh, that's gone. And what's this fuel? This is starting to become the fuel tank. Yep. Obviously, we've got some baffles put in there to stop any petrol slosh, and that will have a lid on there and cover it up very, very shortly. So it's going to have massive cockpit space, isn't it? That's it, all cockpit space. Okay, inside, outside, all looking good, but David, this is the exciting part, mate. This is what it was all about, the project. This is the pod. That's where the project began for us, and that's as far as we've got with us so far. Is mate, it... it looks almost like it was made for the boat. Yeah, look, it's married up quite well with the boat. Yeah. It's going to look a treat. What have you made it out of? Because this thing's got to carry the weight of a Yamaha 350 horsepower, and that's a fair lump of a motor. Right, we've made it out of struck pie. A lot of composite materials have gone into making this unit. Did you just whack it on yourself? No, nah, we didn't just whack it <laughs> on ourselves. We um, seek some professional advice because of what you're hanging off the back of it does uh, require a bit of, yeah. bit of thought. We don't want the motor ripping the back of the boat off, so no. uh, we seeked advice from a naval architect. <laughs> Now, the Yamaha 350 is the world's biggest outboard. What kind of problems does that give you? Because it's a 23-foot boat, it's not a huge boat, it's possibly overpowered. Yeah, we've got to make it strong, Nick. That's, that's the key. We've got to make it strong and, and support the weight. Um, we've also got to make sure that the boat trims right from the first instance. This is the key point a lot of people are writing to us and asking us questions about how this boat is going to run because Bertram 23s with a stern drive are considered to be a really classic boat. Um, how's ours going to go now that we've fairly significantly changed it? Yeah, the boat itself will go really quite well. Um, taking the inboard out and the stern drive leg opens up all that space in the back of the boat. Yep. And we've got the marlin boards on there. The whole thing's going to look like a pretty smick bit of kit. So from, from an aesthetic point of view, it's going to be really good, but from a performance-wise, performance, performance -wise, she'll be um, a good, good thing. Yep, perform she will. Next time you see the beast, folks, she will be finished here at Penguin Composites, and she'll be ready for the big Yamaha 350 to be bolted on the back.